Now on your z-axis here you have two types of feed. If you pull this out you have your drill press type feed which is very coarse feed. When we push it in we have a feed handle here. Let's talk a little bit about how to adjust the backlash best we can out of this control. We'll be working with some bushings here and here and we'll be also working with some gears up inside here. Okay, let's take this handle off of here first. Loosen the nut. And once the screw and washer are off, you can just pull the handle right off of the machine. The next thing to do is to pull the dial off. And now you can see a couple of holes right here in this bushing. The hole through the center of this bushing is offset. So by rotating the bushing, we can move this shaft up and down and that will help to make this worm gear connect better to the big round gear that's inside here. So we've got the round gear, and the worm gear, we're going to move the worm gear up and down. There's also an adjustment at this end. Okay. Hey, now if we loosen this set screw here, now we can take a punch, go into one of these holes, and you see as I rotate this, that shaft moves up and down. We want to move it down against the other gear. When you've got that in place, tighten your set screw up. And then we go to the other end and do exactly the same thing. To get this worm gear down as low as we can, take out any slot between the worm gear and the big round gear in here. This is the shaft that's mounted in the machine here. And you can see these gears will ride on here. And this is what raises the quill up and down. What we're going to be doing up in here is we're going to unbend our locking tab, loosen this nut, then we can actually turn this gear a little bit. This one's pinned to the shaft but this one can rotate a little. So we're going to rotate it just a little bit as far as we can with everything still engaged then when we lock this down it gives the effect of making this gear wider because it's going to run here on this side of this one and on this side of this one. That's going to help take the slop out between this gear and that rack. So now I've got a screwdriver in here in this, and it's right over the crack between the two gears. If I turn the screwdriver a little bit, you can see that one gear moved down. So now I want to hold that and tighten up my nut here on the end. That. There we go. And then we'll come in here with our hammer and punch and we'll tap this nut the other direction to tighten it down. The tightening direction will also try to move that little gear in the proper direction to take up the slack. Okay, you now know how to take the backlash out of your machine. The more you take time to do the little fine adjustments, the better the quality of your machining will be. Thank you and we'll see you again. I want to thank you for coming into the Smithy shop and watching this video. I hope it's been educational and informative for you. Keep an eye out for our other videos that will be coming out soon. So this is Dave saying goodbye from the Smithy shop. Until next time.